Hey guys, I know it's been a long time, but I'm telling you guys, I am back. You know what I'm saying? So now we're gonna get right, we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start off with our new daily login system. I'm gonna try to keep up these consistent videos. Try to post at least twice or once a week. And I'm back from my break, so let's let's get right into it. So basically, what we're gonna do first, you wanna have, uh, you're gonna make a folder inside of replicated storage. You wanna name it events. And then you, inside this folder, you want to put uh, an event called login. And this is going to uh, basically, uh, this is basically going to be like our, our main source, like the fire, like back from the client to the server. Like, because we are, we are, we all know where remote events are. So yeah, this should be not, not something new. And then after that, we're going to go to our, uh, our starter, uh, not starter pack, our starter GUI. And inside our starter GUI, we're going to have our login. And uh, you're going to name it login. You can set up however you want, but I'm going to explain you, I'm going to explain to you how I set it up. So inside of here, we're gonna enable it. So this is this is how it's gonna be set up like. So if the player is new to the game, they're gonna see this first. And then the more they join the game, the money's going to increase by the number of strikes they have. So like, let's say the, on the number of streaks they have. So they're, if they're on streak three, their money's gonna be 300. If their money's on streak five, it's gonna be on streak 500. And after streak uh, five, it's gonna go back to streak one. So, so it's gonna reset and keep going every, every, every single time. So every day. So uh, basically, what we're gonna do now, right? We're just gonna so we're gonna use our, our UI corner. Uh, basically, this is gonna help us like uh, make the the UI really nice, so we have this, this little edges on the side of it. And now we're gonna have our little exit button, so like they can click on it. It's gonna be a little text button, so they can click on it after they uh after they see this. They're gonna have our label called daily reward. They're gonna have our money that's gonna show uh that's gonna display how much money they earned. Then we're gonna have our streak that's gonna show you what streak they're on, so they can see they're on uh, streak one, two, three, four, and five. And if they're if you're on day three and you miss a day, you go back to streak one because that's what streaks are. So basically, that's how you make your uh, your GUI pretty simple. I will be leaving everything down in the Discord so you can just get the game right ahead like this, so you don't have to like to make the GUI yourself. You can just go ahead and test it out. Uh, I'm just gonna enable this. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to make our data store. So we're going to make we're going to make a variable called DSS. It's basically going to be our data store service. So we're going to get we're going to get uh, replicated storage. And now we're going to uh, basically make our name for our data store, and we're going to name it saves. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want. I just change it to saves. And now we're going to make a look. Now we're going to make a table called uh, data. So basically, we're going to keep where we're going to be keeping all our data. And inside this local function here, this is what this is what we're going to be using to fire the remote event. So we're going to do local diff equals os dot time minus data player that last login you're probably looking at this like what is last login last login is basically going to be the uh the time the the time the player like last logged into the game right so and now we're going to do if let's say like uh this is going to uh tell us like how long the player has been in the game and uh 86,400 seconds is basically equivalent to a day so this is going to tell us uh if the player has been like it been in the game for a day or like higher so if the player has been in the game for a day then uh then we're going to check if the player has been in the game for more than two days because if the player has been in the game for more than two days then we can just keep adding one to the streak but if the player uh hasn't been in the game for like more than like a day then the streak is still going to be one so uh other than that we're just going to keep adding one to the streak and now we're going to end it here and now what we're going to do here we're going to update the uh now we're going to update the cache so when we update cache, we're gonna do data player because the player uh, is gonna be inside the table dot cache is gonna be equal to uh, what, what we're gonna be adding is so uh, data player dot cache plus math dot min. So we're gonna get the smallest number and the smallest number is gonna be the data player dot streak times 100. And these streaks is basically gonna be one, two, three, four, and five, nothing higher than that. And it's, we're gonna multiply by 100. And then, so basically, if you're on streak four, you're gonna have 400, and if you're on streak five, you're gonna have 500, and it cannot pass 500. 500 is the is the like basically the the maximum number we can get from this. And now we're gonna uh, make uh, now we're gonna update the player's actual cash value to whatever their data player cash is. So if you get 500, we're gonna make uh, we're gonna change the cash to 500. And now all we're gonna do here is we're gonna reset the time back to os, OS time. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do here. Uh, Inside, uh, we're gonna make a function uh, game dot player dot players added. We're gonna connect the function player. Basically, we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing our, our success and our player save. So basically, gonna be our value. P call function. We're gonna return saves get async get async, and then we're gonna uh, save the player user ID. We're saving the player user ID so we know that if the player tries to change their username uh, and they we ban them from the game, we know that they're going to be banned from the game. Or if like uh, they change their name, their data is still going to be the same because we're saving it by the user ID and not their name. 
Now, what we're going to do if the data if the data store uh, successfully runs perfectly fine, then we're going to go to the player saves. So now we're going to get into like the if they're like their uh, their stats save, like their money, their streaks save. Then we're going to make data player equal to uh, player save, and player save is basically going to be like the value to so our last login streak in cash. And uh, so if this does not run, if this does not uh, pass, so we don't have the values. Then we're going to make the values. So we're going to make, then we're going to do data player equals table. So we're going to make it equal to a table. And now we're, we're, we're now we're going to add last login to the table. We're going to make it equal to zero. We're going to make, uh, we're going to make the streak, uh, equal to one inside the table. And now we're going to make the data, uh, data player dot cash equal to zero. So basically we're going to be resetting everything inside of here. And then we're going to stop it here. And then if success doesn't even run, we're just going to kick the player and said data failed to load. So basically meaning that the desktop did not run at all. And just like we had an error and just, probably got to rejoin the game to fix it and then we're going to return and now uh, what we're going to do here we're going to make a little leader stats we're going to make a, our, our instance.new we're going to make a folder and we're going to append it to the player we're going to do leader stats name leader stats make sure that this is the name for leader stats because you want to make sure that this is the only way leader stats will actually work now we're going to do local cache equals instant.new and you're probably wondering why this is a string value make this a string value so we can uh so we so we can basically like like I want to say format it right. So we're gonna parent to the leader stats. So we're gonna name cash dot name equal to cash, and we're gonna make cash dot value equal to data of uh, uh, data player dot cash. And we don't like because we could just put like we could just make this like a, a number value. Just change this to like an int value. But like this is this is this also works too. You know what I'm saying? Just making the lines uh, smaller makes it much better for us. Now we're gonna do wait one, and now we're gonna do rs dot events dot login fire client player and now we're going to have data player dot last login so we're going to be returning the the players the last time the player logged in and now we're going to re also uh return the streaks back to the client and now if the player removes uh if the player is le like leaving the game we're going to check uh if not data player so if this is not true then we're going to return end and now we're going to set the async to the player user id and then we're going to then we're also going to uh uh set it to the uh, this table right here so uh data player and then we're going to set it equal to no and that's basically what we're going to be doing here pretty small pretty straightforward and then we we'll do ours dot events uh dot login on server event connect that we're going to be connecting this so basically our, our uh remote events going to be fired from here but you guys wouldn't understand this right now because we haven't made it to the client side first so all i'm doing i'm just going to be explaining this to you guys right now right so basically let's get into like the, the final part of this so what we're going to be doing here, we're going to we're, we're going to be getting replicated storage, and we're going to be getting our our um, our variables last login equal to zero and our streak. And what we're going to be doing here, we're going to uh, update the login GUI. So for uh, what it's going to do here is going to basically be updating the GUI here. So we're going to be locating the frame frame streak text. We're going to change the text to streak, and then it's going to say the uh, what whatever the number of whatever the streak is. So like one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to change the frame dot money dot uh dot text to money earned and then we're going to say whatever like whatever the money is so like streak times 100 let's say the streak's three is going to get 300 so it's going to show money earned 300 and the streak's going to be three up here and now uh this is where uh this is where um we fire the client back so from this line here we're firing the uh, parameters player but we're not going to be using player but it just has to be first and we're going to be firing the last time the player logged in and their streak so what we're gonna do here is uh we're just gonna set the last login equal to our time so the time here is the last time the player logged in and remember we uh we all uh, we had it set to zero so we don't have to put nothing here but we just set to zero but you don't have to but now we're gonna make streak equal to streak a and remember we fired it back streak and now we're gonna update our login gui and now we're gonna make it now we're gonna make our our, our quarantine dot wrap function and with these, you want to make sure that you have these right a uh, little function calling the function right here because it will not run unless you have this like at the end of the little spawn function, right? And now these this basically means it's gonna run outside of the uh outside of the uh event basically, right? Now we're gonna do while wait one do we're gonna do local div, so basically it's gonna tell us uh the time the player like last logged in. And now we're gonna do now we're gonna do the same thing here. So we're gonna check if the player's been in the game for more than a day. And then we're going to set the uh, login GUI equal to true so that we can make sure that uh, to, so they can see the GUI. And now we're going to fire. Uh, now we're going to fire server. So when we fire server, everything that we did here is going to is going to basically come here. Right. So we're going to we made a local function from here and we're just going to fire it here. So we're firing the function is going to fire this. Well, basically this right. Our local function and from our from our line here. 
So it shouldn't be too confusing, but basically we're going to be doing the same thing again. So we're going to check if the player's been in the game for, uh, if the player's been in the game for more than, uh, a day, right? Uh, so basically this is like two days. So if we've been in the game for more than two days, then we're going to add one to the streak. No, if we, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. So basically if, uh, if us being in a game, if we've been in the game for longer than two days, then we're going to, uh, then we're going to make our streak equal to, uh, plus equal one but if not we're gonna make it equal to one and now we're gonna update our login to ui then we're gonna reset our last login to o2.time that's basically uh that's basically all we're gonna be doing that's basically how you make your uh your daily login information uh if you guys uh like the video uh leave a like in the description i hope you guys really enjoyed it subscribe i'm gonna keep these consistent videos up and thank you lots